Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hoff Bergman Explained video. In this video, we're gonna talk about the things that have been added or modified with respect to the 1.5 update to the Hoff Bergman map for Farming Simulator 22. Now, if you want to download this map, I do have a video on basically how to download and extract the map. I'm gonna put a little tick up in the upper right corner. You go ahead and click on that if you wish to go and get this map at any point in time. This map has a lot going for it. We're gonna briefly cover what has been added in the 1.5 update, as I said, in this video, and then look for specific videos coming out in the very near future to cover on many of these aspects that we're gonna briefly take a look at in more detail. One of the first things we're gonna talk about is the fact that this map now supports the Wopster's manure system. So those of you that enjoy using the manure system, well, you're going to be able to make use of that now here on this particular map at the various animal pastures, as well as over at the BGA. This map still supports the LSFM hose system as well, so you're freely to use whichever you should so wish. Another new thing that has been added here at the main starting farm and also over at the second farm, which is closer to the shop, is a little jam production. So you see we make little crates here with jam bottles inside. And in order to make the jam, we're gonna need bags of sugar and little boxes of either cherries or strawberries. Something else that has been modified slightly here at the main farm is that if you're gonna be using horses, well, you can still do that. You can get on your horse. But it used to be that you could hop off your horse right here and it would return it back to the pen. Well, that is not the case. In order now to put your horse away, you do need to ride him into this area and then hop it off and then you'll be able to put him back and close the door. Now, with respect to the other horse area that is just here on the other side of the fence. This one works similar, except unlike the small little horse stables, if you return your horse to just any random area here, well, your horse is not actually returned. In order to return your horse, you're gonna have to come over here to this metal covering this metal shed, and then it will return it to the stable properly. So that is a change to the horses, basically in preparation for a little bit of a surprise that Farmer Andy is gonna drop here in a couple of weeks. So keep an eye out on this playlist for an updated video when that happens. Have you ever wanted to maybe have a food truck in Farming Simulator? Well, we now have one here on Hoff Bergman. In fact, here we have our food truck already set up and, well, selling chickens to the wandering beat by folks here of the town. What this is, is this is an extension of the chicken processing area that is up here at the poultry farming plant. If you recall, there was an additional change that was made in a previous version of the map to add meat chickens, boilers, if you will, or broilers. And if we came over here, we would process those chickens into chicken meat. Well, if we take that chicken meat now, we can put it into our food truck. And then we're gonna be able to deliver it to various areas on the map in order to slowly sell our wares chicken truck is going to be here in the shop under sales vehicles. There is the truck and then there is a trailer as well. Deer have been added not only as a wild animal, but as an animal husbandry. So we can now buy deer fawns, does, and stags. We can have up to 500 deer in this nature reserve, if you will. So here we have some fawns. We're gonna to need to bring water. And then as far as a food requirement for our deer, 
grass, hay, clover, clover hay, or hay pellets if you have the straw harvest enabled. You see our stag right there. And then this is where we're going to bring the food for that. Now, the deer are going to be good for two different things. We can bring our deer down here to the slaughterhouse in order to process into deer meat. And then we also will get some animal hides, which we can then further process into leather goods. Or we can take it over to the butcher. And instead of packaged and palletized venison, here we have our deer meat on meat trays. Got loins, we got some ribs, we got some steaks. Lots of good stuff there. Then we're going to be able to sell our deer meat at some various sell points like the farm shop and, well, the pub. And while we're kind of talking about the pub, well, there's a new sell point that has been added across the street from the gas station in a construction site. And you may ask yourself, well, what does a pub and a construction site have to do with things? Well, the construction workers get thirsty, don't they? So we're going to be able to deliver our beer down here to the construction site. I don't know if I really want to uh, to know about them maybe operating heavy machinery, but okay, that's fine. This is also going to be a sell point for your planks and then crushed stone. Crushed stone, you say? That's right. Let's talk about that. A compost facility has been added to the map. And within the compost facility, well, we have the ability to make crushed stone here at our stone crusher. We're just going to deliver stones and it's going to then process that into crushed stone. Or, well, we can deliver organic waste and produce compost. And that's what we've got going on right here is we've loaded this up with organic waste and it is now running and producing compost and then stones are being output. You can take this loose compost and sell it in bulk or you can further process it and palletize your compost into bags using this facility here. And we have some really nice animations of our compost being bagged and then being palletized. We're gonna then be able to sell our palletized and bagged compost for a higher amount of money. Or we can take our compost over to the new greenhouses. Well, let's not talk about those quite yet. Because here at this facility, we also have a little trick. We can change this from being a brand new machine to an aged machine right before your very eyes. And that'll work on the big bag maker here, on the stone crusher, and the compost facility. Those that played Hoffberg in an FS19 may remember a garden area. Well, we have that now has returned. And we have four greenhouses here at this garden area. We've got some nice animations, including a garden worker. And we're gonna deliver various products here, compost, manure, and water. And then we're gonna be able to produce various items. We're also gonna get organic waste as an output which we can then full circle over to the compost facility. Here we have a pallet full of mushrooms or cauliflower, cucumbers, carrots, strawberries, and tomatoes. Also over here at the garden facility or the greenhouse facility, we have a water storage basin. When it rains, well, this water is gonna be collected here. We can also deliver water 
And then we're gonna be able to draw water out of here and use it at our greenhouses. We also have cold storage where we can deliver our palletized products and store those in a nice cool place. Down here at the sawmill, we not only have the ability to make our planks, but we also now have the ability to produce pallets because we will need to take pallets to the compost palleting factory. And we're gonna be able to make our pallets over here. We're gonna have our individual pallets that we can then transport to that facility for then the palletization of our compost. And we're gonna to need to bring planks from our sawmill to here in order to do that. An oil mill has been added in the 1.5 update. And this is not quite like the normal oil mill that you might be used to in FS22. And that is because this is going to produce vegetable oil. And oil seeds, well, oil seeds is going to be a combination of different products. So that is going to basically be your canola, your sunflower, your soybeans, as well as a few more. We're going to cover that in a lot more detail in another video. But we have a choice of either having our vegetable oil come out in these IBC containers, or we can move the trigger and then have it come out in bulk. Now, the contract filler has been modified with the update, and he is going to be able to bottle apple juice as well as vegetable oil. So before, he could only do red wine and grape juice, but now apple juice and vegetable oil has been added. And here we have pallets of packaged vegetable oil ready for pickup. Let's circle back a little bit to our jam production. We're gonna need either cherries or strawberries for that. And the cherry facility was added in a previous update to the map. But we also now have a new production here at the cherry facility. And that is gonna be a cherry packager. So we're gonna bring our cherries from our cherry orchard and bring them into here that is going to then sort them and clean them and, well, then allow us to put them in these smaller crates. And then we can sell our cherries like this, or we can take these down to the jam production. An apple orchard has been added and apple trees have been reworked a little bit. So we did have a little bit of apple tree facility over at the allotment garden or what I call the community garden in town, but now we have our own apple orchard. See our apples are growing on this tree. And in order to collect our apples, well, we need to use this little basket and we need to use a ladder. That's right, we have to go up in the tree. And then once we're up in the tree, well, we can collect our apples, as you can see. And once we've collected our apples, well, we're gonna be able to either sell our apples we're gonna be able to put these apples into a larger crate and then transport those around. Or we could make apple juice and we have an apple press facility here in this little shed. In fact, we have two apple presses in this shed. One there, one there, and that's basically going to squeeze apples into apple juice. We've got a bucket here of apple juice. Then you may ask yourself, well, what are you going to do with that apple juice? Well, you can put it into a barrel and sell that at various sell points. Or for the adventurous folk, we can come down here into our cider cellar and we can make apple cider from our apple juice. And of course, well, everyone knows, cider is gonna sell for a whole lot more money than simple apple juice. Now I may have saved the best change 
polar lines. That this change is actually not even documented in the change log that I will have published down in the description below. Well, we're obviously over here on our lake. This is where we can fish. That was added in a previous update. But there is now something far, far more profitable to be done here at this lake. And, well, it involves us bringing our boat over here. And we're just going to take a little stroll because there's something, something hidden back in here now. I believe you can see it. We have a moonshine still. So, if you bring sugar and maize to our moonshine still, we can make mash. And then we can take our mash and bring it over here to our kettle. And, well, we can, over time, make ourselves some moonshine. And then, well, you know what we're going to do with this. No, we're not going to drink it. Well, not all of it. We're going to be able to then sell our shine at various select sell points in town. Fine connoisseurs of this product, folks are. So guys, that is going to cover the what is new and what is important in the 1.5 update. There have been a few modified changes to some farmlands in order to basically add the compost facility, to add the apple orchard, to add a few other things as well. So a new save game is 100% going to be required. If you have an active save on the 1.4 version of this map, you will need to start a brand new save. Do not try to simply update the map and continue on. Things will not appear as you want them to. And definitely the new production won't work properly. Things are just going to be a complete mess. So you definitely need to do a new save. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you do, please go ahead and click that like button. Hit subscribe because we are going to be coming out hot and heavy over the next several days with more Hoff Bergman Explained videos as we cover each and every new update in detail so we everyone knows exactly what is going on here with 1.5. If this is the first version of Hoff Bergman that you have played up to this point, do note that all of the other Hoff Bergman Explained videos are still very much relative. You'll be able to basically start at the beginning and learn everything that is collectively going to be in this version of the map as the map has increased over time with functionality. Any changes to that functionality will have been covered also in that playlist. And until next time, happy farming.